Acquiring dividends are better than saving money for financial wealth. Well, interest from savings, money markets, CDs and annuities are a secure way of increasing wealth without risks involved in the market fluctuations. They don't really generate long-term financial security. The interest rates are too low for a runaway income in the course of one's lifetime. And also, banks invest your money and generate large rewards, and yet they only give you a meager at best interest rate. So to generate a fat bank account is the result of a long lifetime hefty savings and by living a very thrifty life. Moreover, in retirement, you sometimes get unforeseen expenses and they can outweigh any interest generated, so you end up spending from your savings rather than from any interest income. You want to live off your interest income. Concurrently, with the advent of the Federal Reserve Act, the value of the dollar has constantly been decreasing over time to where savings don't compete with inflation anymore, and you end up with a loss of buying power. So consequently, saving money incre increases one's bank account, but it doesn't really increase one's buying power. When investing, the goal is to double your income in the shortest time possible. You know, currently with the local credit union, the interest rate is around 1.5%, and that means your money will double in 46 years. Before the recession we had, the interest rate was around 5%, which meant your money will double in 14 years. So at 1.5% return, $1,000 will take 460 years to turn into a million dollars. A 5% return will take 140 years, a 12% return will take 60 years, and a 20% return will take 33 years. There are several real estate investment trusts that provide an 8 to 12% yield off their dividends. Now if you're trying to look for them, you can simply run a stock screener and um, screen for higher dividend deals and then research them to see which one you want to invest in. But overall from this table you can see that a thousand dollars only takes 10 doubling cycles or has to double 10 times to turn into a million dollars. So what you want to do is double your income in the shortest time possible and as you can see by this table if you had bought this company that averaged $59.34 a share back in 2012 with a dividend yield of 1.7 percent by the end of 2018 you would be averaging a yield of only 2.15 percent so a slight increase but look at your annual dividend it went from a dollar a year to around three dollars a year and the stock price has more than doubled in the six-year period now this data is actually based on an actual stock that I have found recently and a lot of other stocks are like it, not just this one that I'm currently interested in purchasing a few shares. But also, when you look at the annual dividend, if you bought the stock at $59.34 a share, yeah, it may be worth $140 a share by 2018, but looking at it, your cost was $59.34. So your dividend yield has increased from 1.7% when you bought the stock to 5.07% at present. Unlike interest rates, which have been highly anemic because of the Federal Reserve policies of the past several years, you can see that your doubling increases over time to where the amount of years it takes to double actually shortens. Now with this graph, you can see that the annual dividend yield of a stock, it, it roughly stays about the same, but when you buy it sooner, as they increase your dividends over time, the annual yield based on your purchase price increases. And this data, as mentioned earlier, is based on an actual stock that I recently discovered that I'm thinking of purchasing, and one that I don't feel like disclosing in this video, so sorry folks. But anyway, you can always research stocks and find stocks that do the same thing, because a lot of these companies do. With this next chart, you can see that the years it takes to double based on the stock price drops because you notice it started at 1.7% yield in 2012 and then increased to a little over 2% by 2018. But it takes even less time for you to, you know, the, yield, the amount of time it takes to double at the current dividend yield based on the fact that you had purchased the stock earlier 
is actually lower than what the current price is. So that's what this graph on the right uh, shows. So as seen from a real-life example, dividends are a means to generating long-term financial security. So by investing in companies that increase dividends on a regular basis, it allows for a decrease in the projected amount of time of years in which it takes for the div dividend return to double. And also the increase in dividend income is in addition to an increase in share price of a stock. As you saw by that example, the stock in the past six years more than doubled in price and yet the dividends nearly tripled in price. Now while a stock increasing in price over the years guarantees that one does not lose money on the investment, the dividends actually solidify the gains and result in an increase in cash flow from owning that stock. So reinvesting the dividends until retirement produces a compounding effect to get further gains and then when you retire you can start withdrawing and living off a portion of the dividends and this way your money can still grow while you're in retirement to ensure you don't run out. I hope you found this video very informative and thanks for watching.